is one to recover <coughs> all moving steam games because, as you can see, one of the top-rated comments of our last video was moving steam games. That wasn't exactly what they were. That's not exactly what they were thinking when they typed in moving steam games. So I'm going to do something that's a little more relevant to what they actually want. So what will this video cover? Well, this video will cover Windows only. So if you've got Mac or SteamOS or anything like that, unfortunately I don't have any of those, so I won't be able to cover those. But this will cover most Windows users, and that includes Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and even to some extent XP. I'm only going to be covering moving games from the common folder. Steam does hold games in other locations, but there are only certain games, and usually it doesn't matter where they are. I'm only going to be talking about moving directories, I'm not going to talk about moving computers, although no, this method probably won't work for that. It wouldn't work with moving computers, moving Steam profiles, it will only cover moving directories, so you're going to move it your common folder to another folder on the computer or another hard drive. As long as it's on the same computer, it's okay. And we're going to be talking about creating a junction file using MKLink. This is not a shortcut, so this won't work if you just try to create a shortcut file. So this has to be a junction file, and I'll explain why when we get to that part of the video. So first of all, we're going to locate the Steam Games folder. Now, this is pretty easy on my system. Steam is on another hard drive. It's on its own hard drive, so it's got all the room in the world to play with. There it is. You go to Steam, then you go to Steam Apps, and you locate your common folder. Once you've located your common folder, you can then move on to the next step. If you're having trouble finding your common folder, that's probably because it's in your C drive, your program files, the Steam, Steam apps. It's usually within your program files section of your computer. If you're running a 64-bit system, you might find it under C, program files, x86. The reason that you'll find it under x86 is because Steam is a 32-bit program, and it needs to run in the 32-bit compatibility mode for Windows 64-bit computers. So, this is the folder you'll need to look at. On to the uh, next slide here. Any day now. Okay, sorry about that. That's uh, Microsoft PowerPoint was having a little bit of trouble. Moving the Steam Games folder itself, you can move the games individually, or you can move the entire common folder. I'm showing you an example here of moving the entire common folder. You can either use the copy-paste method or the move method. Both of them work. One's just you have to right-click, the other you just click and drag. Windows is a really user-friendly environment, so moving folders is a simple process, and you've probably done it many, many times already. Next, we're going to create the link. Now, this is something you might want to uh, keep an eye on and, and follow along with, with this. There will be step-by-step -step instructions in the description, so don't have to worry about that. If you're, uh, if you're having trouble following along, if you're having trouble seeing what you're supposed to be writing, there will be a step-by-step -step in the description. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Windows. So as you can see, I'm on, I'm on my standard home screen right here. And then you're going to click on the Windows button, and that's going to take you into your start menu. You're going to type into the Run section, CMD, and then you just hit Enter. So you type in CMD, and you just hit Enter, and that'll bring up your command window, which looks like this. Next, you're going to type into the command window, MKLink. I'm just going to just going to put a side note here. When you're copying things, because you're going to be copying things in a minute, you can't use the command control V because that's what happens if you use the command control V. Anyway, next you're going to do MK link and then you're going to uh, do a 
forward slash and J, and that's going to create a junction file. Then you want to create where you want to create the junction file, the actual link itself, in which this case I'm doing it under the F drive, which is Steam's own hard drive, then Steam, Steam apps common, so that would be C drive, program file, Steam, Steam apps common, or uh, C drive, Steam, Steam apps common. The next link is the link to where the actual games are now. So it's the new location of the games. So it'll be the H drive. So the first link is where you want to create the junction file. The second link is where you want to point to where the games are now. And as you can see, MK link will give you a nice little output of junction created or junction failed. If you're getting a junction failed, it could be for several reasons. The first and most common reason is you haven't deleted your original common file. So you have to delete or rename your original common file. The junction will not create for a file that already exists. Now this is because a junction file is not a shortcut. What a junction file is, is a junction file is a file that mimics a folder and it will allow Windows to accept it as the original folder. So, a shortcut would just point to where the new content is. Whereas a junction file pretends it's the folder where all the content is, and then sends the program to it later on in the process. This allows Steam to look at the common file, or the common junction, and still see all your games there. If you had a shortcut, Steam would look at the common shortcut and it wouldn't see any games there, it would just see a shortcut. That's why this works. Okay, then you should see something like this, where you've got a common shortcut inside your Steam folder. This, as I said, is not really a shortcut, that's just the standard look for the folder of a junction file. But trust me, that is that is a junction file, and it is pointing to where your new, where all your games are now in your new folder. What you have to do now is start up Steam, and bada bing, bada boom, you get to play games, and you, you don't have to fill up your C drive. So, hope this has helped. Well, I might remind you that there are other questions that need to be answered. And I do have other videos to bring you. As for saving your game saves, this will not corrupt game saves. So you don't have to worry about game saves using this method. You're not removing any files from your computer. You're just moving them to a new position. Plus the Steam or the uh, save files for most games are stored either in the document section or sometimes the app data section. These won't be affected by this method, so you, you don't have to worry about saving your game saves. The games will still look in the same locations for the game saves, so you don't have to worry about that either. However, I will show you a way to protect your game saves. It's quite simple, but I will show you a way to protect them and what games have what game save locations and such. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. But you should also look in the Q&A section that will be in the description, as your question may have been asked already, and it may already be answered. So make sure you check out the Q&A Q&A in the description. There are more videos to come, more Steam guides to come, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Stuff.